Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we will explain all the metering modes from the Panasonic G9. So for the impatient ones, multimetering basically takes into account the whole scene to decide on the exposure. Center weighted puts more emphasis on the center of the frame. Spot metering exposes exactly for where the focus point is. And then highlight weighted basically puts the emphasis on the most highlight areas of the frame. But now let's go into some more details. How do they operate? And then in what cases might you might want to use one or the other. So, but maybe first really briefly, what is this metering? And basically it's the way that the camera has to judge exposure. And is there enough light or not in this scene? And should some settings be changed or not? In case that you have some automatic exposure mode, you either have auto ISO or you're shooting in P, A or S mode, meaning shutter priority, upper priority or program mode. All of those, the camera will have to make some decisions on what settings to change. And that's what's actually trying to do. It meters the scene, measures the amount of light there is in the scene in the different ways that we're going to see in a moment. And then based on that, adjusts the exposure. In case that you would have a fully manual mode, meaning you're shooting in M mode, either video or photos, and the ISO is also manual, the camera will still meter in the mode that you have chosen, and it's going to show you that metering in the bar below, whether you're overexposed or underexposed based on the exposure of that particular metering setting. But now let's go and check those four different metering modes, how do they work and where would you use them. So the multimetering basically makes an average of the whole scene. This is, I think, the most practical one, the one that I have at least in my camera or cameras activated, I don't know, 95% of the time. And it most means that they are not really highly contrasty or that you won't really focus on that really bright spot and expose well and get some other shadows. Basically, for most usages, this is the one. What the camera does is look at the whole scene and try to take an average so that things would be exposed. If you have a really high contrast scene with a really bright spot and a really dark spot or so, it's quite likely that the brights and the highlights will be blown and that the darks or the shadows will be crushed, but everything else will be okay. So this is the mode to use when you want to things to be okay. And if a window, it's a little bit um, blown, it's okay. And if the shadow is a bit crushed, it's okay. But most of the scene will be okay. So this is the okay mode. Then the center weighted is similar to the multimetering in the sense that it's going to try to make an average of the whole scene, but the center of the frame has a higher weight. Uh, think about it this way. If the multimetering would be a fully democratic process where all the different parts of the scene on the picture have the same amount of saying on how you should expose the image, in center weighted what happens is that the middle gets more votes, basically. So if the middle would be a really, really bright, quite likely the camera will try to expose that properly, making everything else a little bit darker. And the opposite will be also true. If the middle is a bit darker than the rest of the scene, the camera will try to expose that uh, fairly well, and then everything else will get a little bit brighter. And I say a little bit because the rest of the scene is still taken into account when considering the metering. The third case is spot metering, and that's extreme, basically. That spot where you have the focus on, that's exactly where the camera is metering and will expose accordingly. This means that if you put the focus on something which is really bright in the scene, quite likely that will be well exposed or the camera will try to not blow it up and everything is going to be pretty dark and the opposite is also true if you have the focus point or the camera will try to focus with focusing in the dark is hard and we're talking panasonic here sorry about that if the focus point is on a dark part of your scene then the camera will try to bring up the exposure of that particular place and of course everything else is also brought up so likelihood that there's going to be a lot of um, crashed highlights when would you like to use this? Um, think of the cases where the really bright part of the um, scene is something you want properly exposed. A sunset or a sunrise, where you want the glowing orange sun to definitely not be blown. And if there are some shadows that are fully crushed, it doesn't matter because that's part of the beauty of that kind of shot. That would be a situation that you might want to use spot metering. And finally, we have the highlight weighted. And here I have to say that I think the icon is a bit misleading. The icon looks like the spot metering with an asterisk, and I think it would be better if it would look like the center weighted with an asterisk. Basically, what the camera is trying to do is a similar thing than the center weighted, but it gives stronger weight or more votes to the highlight areas of the frame. So basically, if you have, again, a 
really bright window or the sun in the background. It doesn't matter whether you're focusing on those things or not. The camera will try to protect the highlights, will try to expose the highlights correctly. So likely, if you have a scene with a really, really bright uh, spot on it, that will be properly exposed. Everything else will be dark. Here, again, I'm thinking about the sunset, sunrise type of situation. And why would you use this and not the spot? Maybe you don't want to focus on the sun, or maybe you don't want to focus on that window, but you want those things to be properly exposed. Think of a bit of a scene that you would have a window that you want to be exposed, you want to see the outside, and maybe the people who are in the room you want to see just the silhouettes, or barely much more than the silhouettes, but those are the things you want in focus. Using this metering, you will have the focus elsewhere, and yet the camera will expose for the highlights. So this will be the use cases of when to use the highlight weighted light metering mode on the Panasonic G9. And for those of us using the Panasonic G9 to film our kids doing a theater play, for instance, that's a mode that also would work well. Because what you want is to have whoever is lit in the middle of the stage properly exposed. And it doesn't matter if the heads of the audience in front of you are pitch black. That doesn't matter. What matters is that the subject is well exposed. And this highlight metering mode, that's what it would do. And let's end this by talking about exposure compensation. And that's your way of telling the camera off. Aim where you were wanting to aim, or actually camera, what you're trying to do, I would like it still a little bit brighter. So basically, if exposure compensation is at zero, the camera will try to expose so that, depending on the metering mode, the exposure is at zero, meaning properly exposed. If you want whatever that scene is with that metering mode just a little bit brighter, you just set the exposure compensation to plus one stop or plus 0.7 stops or however much you want and that will be the new goal for the camera when exposing and same thing to the other direction and here's something to think about is that i think that many people use just the um, multimetering and the exposure compensation to adjust the exposure which is fine of course it's a good method but there are some situations that you might be better off with exposure compensation at zero but using the different metering modes as always, experiment, that's the best way to learn. But hopefully this video clarified a little bit what do those metering modes do, when would you want to use them, and then how are they useful. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we're going to see you soon for some more.